Alright, I don't know exactly what to do with this camera. It's like difficult to power up. I can't plug it into my spare battery now. I like it a lot though. I like this camera. I mean, there's times where it's really challenged my patience. But overall, the there's a greater good. Oh, oh, oh. Why don't I say that right away? I'm going to the south. Down Nagali's Highway to the library from the Walmart. Uh, the, Wal the, the library is called something. It's two miles away. I'm in Saguarito. And I'm, in, I'm going to that, that library in, in Green Valley. Green Valley. So I'll just call it the Green Valley Library. And I take a right. That's the first thing, the beautiful snowy mountains. It's really, I'm sweating in my car right now. Going past Carl's Jr. where I got a, oh! That's not, that's not a way. Oh no. Can I just turn around? Oh no. I did not plan this. Very good. Okay. I gotta stop, I guess, but why? There's X, there seems to be an increased amount of traffic at this hour. Okay, I thought I could go one way. Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, we're making a turn. And then I'm gonna take a right. It's, I stopped at Sprouts and got some oat groats. Walmart Sprint and Mattress Firm. Why can't they call themselves Firm Mattress? South La Canada Drive. La Canada. Man, I should take a road for the city, Seguarito, and let the GPS pronounce it for me. So, in one mile, Verizon, Saigon, Nails and Spa, Mod Pizza, super fast. I've never seen that super fast below Mod Pizza before. There's, they don't want to be. They don't want to be perceived as a slow. Dutch Brothers is coming in. Nagali's left lane. Yes, I am interested. Tucson to the right. No, thank you. But I'm going across. Oh, life. Yep, we're stopping. I bicycled this way. Oh yeah, this is heading. Heading to the... In three quarters of a mile, turn left on South La Canada Drive. The ten dollar museum, the Missile Museum. It got some, it got like, I don't know, a thousand, thousand reviews and they're, it's all five stars. It's, it's well loved by the public. <laughs> missile, watch the, the kick, they kicked the museum out and reactivated it under Trump. With our new, with our renewed aggression against Soviet Union and Putin recently saying that he could bring missiles to Cuba again to reignite the missile crisis that we so desperately need in this day and age with the increased communication channels by fiber optic and wireless technologies. We have a lot to look forward to with future wars and how they develop. How can a war develop? I mean, it's it's really mind-boggling how the war developed in out of Germany in the 1930s, 1940s, just World War One. I. I mean, society was so advanced. They had so much amazing architecture back then, and to just run around and blow it all up. I mean, maybe that was kind of fun for some people. I'd be like. No! Don't destroy that statue! It looks nice! They blow out the smithereens. But these are the same people that could shoot camels in the in the desert during Desert Storm for fun. Blow camels up for fun. No no other purpose other than for fun. To, these are the same people who could who could blast away the buffalo for fun. Just, just to, just to watch them crumple under their, under their wounds and 
and also to hurt the Indians but I think maybe the cowboys are having more fun um, the, the greater the greater benefit was having the fun of shooting the animals like it's a like it's a video game over starving the Indians but I'm sure their hatred for Indians were pretty strong and it was uh, also causing a relief knowing that they were uh, taking out the Indians food supply this is the same people who can run up the munitions who who can run up the fears increase the fears increase the the pressure the tension on the who they consider the enemy turn left at the traffic light and it's only it's it's a, a war of attrition you know you don't you don't go for the instant win you you try to wear them down instead in other ways some people are uh, really good at that they just have the right mindset for it all missile crisis this is just one the titan missile museum they're just saying it's a a titan and it's just one one missile do they have any backup missiles okay ah there's some guy on my right i got 1.3 miles yeah i want to start start in on getting over to the to the right lane there Okay, and it's 35 through here, 40, I can go 45. So we had all these, this is a retirement area, Saguarito, and they had a big missile from 63 to 85, something like that, about 20 years. Oh, pretty much exactly during the, the missile crisis, the, uh, the, the nuclear Cold War crisis, the big red scare. These people, these people here, might have been living a little. Uh, well, I don't know. Were they living more in fear? Did they feel more comforted, knowing that there's a missile? This missile couldn't shoot other missiles out of the sky, most likely. It's probably it probably had a target. It probably had the Kremlin as as a target, one target, possibly adjustable for others they're just a missile with one target in mind that's it you Russia blasts us we blast them even harder back whoa friends he's turning to friends indeed established 1971 volunteers need it I said volunteers need it you shot it that hurt my side. So, uh, one point point one miles. Country Fair White Elephant Incorporated. <gasps> Joiner Green Valley. Joiner Green Valley. Joiner Green Valley. Oh my cancer! I got appendicitis, turning into cancer. It's like a beautiful flower, a beautiful flower wilting, a, a wilting flower. It was once a flower and now it's wilting. Not blossoming, wilting. My God, it's so busy. Oh, oh, what? Stop, do not enter dock area, posted no trespassing. Alto, enter near baby. Oh, here's some more. Para rejoicer, apartado supremo del suturma, puerto de servicio. Gas pump emergency power off at the library. They have a gas pump emergency power off. I've never seen gas pump. MVV employee parking. Okay, so I have to take a right. I'll park away from the library. Yeah, it's a nice warm day. Tomorrow's going to be even warmer. The day after that's going to be even warmer. Wow, look at all this parking. Right next to the Sheriff's Auxiliary Volunteers, where they have a sign that says no overnight parking. 
Sheriff's Auxiliary Volunteers to the right. Training, Administration, Cone Revention, Field Operations. All the good stuff you need to get, get qualified as a Sheriff Auxiliary Volunteer.